Hello and Assalamualaikum everyone So, how important is the crop cycle? It is so important that it has not one, not two, but three different names in common usage today. The name we'll primarily use here, um, the citric acid cycle, refers to the first molecule that forms during the cycle's reaction, which is citric, or in its protonated form, citric acid. However, you may also hear this series of reactions called the tricarboxylic acid, TCA, cycle for the three carboxyl groups on its first two intermediates, or the Krebs cycle, after its discoverer, Hans Krebs. Sir Hans Adolf Krebs was a German-born British biologist, physician, and biochemist. He was a pioneer uh, scientist in the study of cellular respiration, which is a bi biochemical process in living cells. This process extracts energy necessary for daily life from food and oxygen that we consume. Sir Hans Krebs is best known for his discoveries of two important sequences of chemical reactions, namely the citric acid cycle, or the Krebs cycle as we know, and the urea cycle, which, both, uh, which earned Krebs a Nobel Prize in Physiology or Medicine in the year 1953. Whatever you prefer to call it, the citric cycle is a central driver of cellular respiration. It takes acetyl produced by the oxidation of pyruvate and originally derived from glucose. As it starts thin material and in a series of redox reactions, harvests much of its bond energy in the form of NADH, FADH2 and ATP molecules. The reduced electron carrier NADH and FADH2 generated in the TCA cycle will pass their electrons in the electron transport chain and through oxidative phosphorylation will generate most of the ATP produced in cellular respiration. For the overview of the Krebs cycles, in eukaryotes, which are organisms whose cell have a nucleus enclosed within a nuclear envelope, the Krebs cycles takes place in the matrix of the mitochondria. While in prokaryotes, which are cellular organisms that lack an envelope enclosed nucleus, these steps both take place in the cytoplasm. The Krebs cycle is a closed loop, the last part of the pathway reforms the molecule used in the first step. The cycle includes eight major steps. Overall, when turned off the Krebs cycle, releases two carbon dioxide molecules, CO2, and produces three NADH, one FADH2, and one ATP or GTP. The Krebs cycle goes around twice for each molecule of glucose that enters the cellular respiration because there are two pyruvates. The pyruvate is the end product of the glycolysis. Now, in the first step of this cycle, acetyl coenzyme A joins with a 4 carbon molecule or saloacetate, releasing the coenzyme A group and forming a 6 carbon molecule called citrate. The enzyme responsible for catalyzing this first reaction is citrate synthase. In the second step, Citrate loses one water molecule and gains another because it is converted into its isomer, isocitrate, with the help of the enzyme aconitase. This is actually a two-step process involving first the removal and then the addition of a water molecule. In the third step, isocitrate undergo oxidative decarboxylation reaction catalyzed by an enzyme known as isocitrate dehydrogenase. Thus, produce a 5-carbon molecule, a ketoglutarate, alpha ketoglutarate, and a molecule of carbon dioxide. This step also produced two electrons, which resulted in NAD+, to reduce NADH and en energy production. The enzyme isocitrate dehydrogenase is important in regulating the speed of the cycle. This step is not quite different from the third step. This time it is alpha ketoglutarate that is oxidized. 
reducing NAD plus to NADH and releasing molecule of carbon dioxide. The remaining four carbon molecule from succinyl group binds with coenzyme A, forming the unstable compound succinyl coenzyme A. The enzyme catalyzing this step is alpha ketoglutarate dehydrogenase. In the fifth step, the coenzyme A of succinyl coenzyme A is replaced by a phosphate group, which is then transferred to ADP adenosine diphosphate to make ATP adenosine triphosphate. In some cells, GDP guanosine diphosphate is used instead of ADP, then forming GDP guanosine triphosphate as a product. This step produces a four carbon molecule, which is succinate and catalyzed by a Succinyl coenzyme A synthetase, synthetase enzyme. In step 6, succinate is oxidized, forming another 4 carbon molecule called fumarate. In this reaction, two hydrogen atoms with their electrons are transferred to FAD, producing FADH2. The enzyme that carries out this step is embedded in the inner membrane of the mitochondria. So, FADH2 can transfer its electrons directly into the electron transport chain. This step is catalyzed by succinate dehydrogenase. In this last step, oxaloacetate, which is the starting 4 carbon compound, is originated by oxidation of malate. Another molecule of NAD is reduced to NADH in the process. This reaction is catalyzed by malate dehydrogenase using the reduction of NAD to NADH. Okay, now let's go to the product of Krebs cycle. The first step of utilizing glucose. Glycolysis will produce a few ATP as well as molecule which will be processed with Krebs cycle. During glycolysis, a single glucose molecule will be split into two smaller three carbon molecules called pruvate. Pruvate is then converted into acetyl-CoA. Acetyl-CoA is then utilized within the Krebs cycle to produce several major products. In turn, this product then drives to the formation of ATP, which is the main energy source for the cells. So, for every one pyruvate molecule added, the Krebs cycle will produce two molecules of CO2, three molecules of NADH, one molecule of FADH2, and one molecule of GTP. A molecule of glucose contains two pyruvate molecules. So, one glucose molecule will produce double the amount of product listed above as it moves through the Krebs cycle. These products will then be converted to ATP in later stages of the aerobic respiration. Carbon dioxide is the only waste product and must be removed from the cell. Large organisms must remove carbon dioxide from all their cells. In these animals, Carbon dioxide is typically exchanged in the gills or lungs for oxygen, which then helps drive the final stages of the aerobic respiration. So, for every one pyruvate molecule added, the Krebs cycle will produce two molecules of carbon dioxide, three molecules of NADH, one molecule of FADH2, and one molecule of GTP. A molecule of glucose contains two pyruvate molecules, so one glucose molecule will produce double the amount of products listed above as it is moved through the Krebs cycle. These products will then be converted to ATP in later stage of aerobic respiration. Carbon dioxide is the only waste product and must be removed from the cell. Large organisms must remove carbon dioxide from all their cells. In this animal, carbon dioxide is typically exchanged in the gills or lungs for oxygen, which helps drive the final stage of aerobic respiration. Oil function in the Krebs cycle could cause a major effect on living creatures since the production energy of Energy is crucial for life. Few cases of isolated and supposedly primary Krebs cycle disorder have been reported in humans. 
the automatic the autosomic recessive disease due to mutation in the fumarase gene previously known as fumaric aciduria is a severe and early encephalopathy with seizures and muscular hypotonia leading to growth and developmental delay with excessive excretion of urinary fumarates. Because of the similarity of the clinical features associated with succinate dehydrogenase, or we call it as SDH, and FH gene mutations, it was later suggested that decreased SDH activity due to the accumulation of fumarate consecutive to a loss of fumarase activities was the link between the two genetic diseases. In Surah Taqwir verse 17 and 18, Allah said, A'udhu billahi minash shaytan irrajim Wal-layli idha as-as Wal-subuhi idha tanafas And by the night as it closes in And by the dawn when it breaks the term idha tanafas in Surah at taqwir is referred to the morning hours. In other words, when it breathes in is a metaphorical reference to breathing, respiration, or breathing deeply. This term particularly emphasizes the way that the production of oxygen begins in the morning and that the greatest levels of oxygen essential for respiration are given off at that time. Also, this verse also aligns with the discovery that plants breath inhale carbon dioxide and exhale oxygen during the day, and inhale oxygen and exhale carbon dioxide during the night. Scientists also confirm that a human and animals always inhale oxygen and exhale carbon dioxide all the time. What this means is that the day we start by the morning does indeed have or generate a breathing cycle on our planet Earth. Because half of the creatures that live on Earth generate oxygen, while the other half generate carbon dioxide. Obviously, planets generate far more oxygen than us, and animals generate carbon dioxide, which explains why we will have enough source of oxygen at night. When all of the God Almighty created creatures on Earth, inhale oxygen and exhale carbon dioxide at night. Towards the future, the agriculture industry will always be relevant in the coming years. How can we use the knowledge about the crab cycle then? For example, most florists attach great importance to the product quality, such as the abundant flowering of a plant. The flowering of a plant can be boosted by the energy a plant produces. Therefore, the more ATP produced in the crab cycle, the more energy a plant gets. Thus, the more abundant the flowering. But, something needs to be in consideration. Producing more ATP in the Krebs cycle will result in more product like carbon dioxide. A high concentration of CO2 can displace oxygen in air. Humans and animals will have less oxygen to breathe in. Carbon dioxide could also contribute to air pollution in its role in the greenhouse effect. Carbon dioxide trapped radiation at the ground level, thus creating a ground level ozone. This atmospheric layer also prevents the earth from cooling at night. This will result in the warming of ocean waters. In the end, it is also crucial to keep everything in moderation to maintain a balanced ecosystem like what the Prophet Sallallahu said, Khairul umuru awsa tuha, meaning the best of a method is its moderation, narrated by Imam Al-Bukhari. That's all from us. Bye and Assalamualaikum.